Ala, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Thank Can you, you tell us a little bit more about the design of this all new Hyundai Accent? All right, so uh, when it comes to the design, we took two factors, which is uh, more the design itself when it comes to the engineering part of it and the uh, emotional part of it. So we had to keep uh, keep it easy and choose few words that can uh, rhyme into the person's mind and just keep it simple. So if you look at the exterior, we can always say that it's like a compact premium. So it's a small car, but it's a premium as well. And from the inside, it's more like uh, the modern elegance and it has that rhythmical tension. So we use these emotional words that actually drives the emotional in the part in the person who can understand the lines of the car for whether it's outside and inside. When it comes to, to the actual engineering part behind it, we wanted to make the car more aggressive, more sporty, more bold, more dynamic, showing it it's always on a constant movement and it's actually a pretty nice to drive. So the design had to do something with the driving part itself with it. Okay. And uh, considering this all new model is both lower and longer and wider than the previous model, mm -hmm. do you see this cannibalizing on sales of the Elantra? Well, currently, to be honest, no. The, the Elantra is uh, on a different segment. It's, it has uh, the options of a bigger engine. It's actually still a bigger car. It, it, it is following the same uh, the, the same tone, design language of the car, so the frontal side, the rear side, it still looks the same, but the size does play, uh, the, the size does matter. Right. So the Elantra is a little, still be, a little bigger, and especially when you put the two cars beside them. Okay, so for some, uh, a potential buyer in this sort of segment, they're not looking at zero to hundred times, they're more True. interested in the practicality. Exactly. So what can you tell us about the practicality in terms of interior space, boot space, how does it compare with the previous okay. model? So when it comes, we're talking in the engineering part of it, the wheelbase has been extended by three centimeters, but that is multiplied when it comes to practicality from the inside. So three centimeters inside gives you, for, for example, five centimeters for a leg room. Right. And five centimeters for leg room is multiplied on the length of the person. So you don't have to be five centimeters higher to, get, <laughs> to, to use that. So it's actually a, a multiplication uh, form. Right. So three centimeters can actually do a lot of change to the practicality and the size interior luminous of the car. So you have more leg room, mm -hmm. you have more headroom, you have more hip, uh, hip size, hip room. So the, uh, the size wise, it helps more to the young families. Right. It's more friendly for with your friends, so everyone can sit and enjoy the ride. And at the same time, the uh, it's it's just better. What about boot space? Is boot space more than the previous model? It's the previous model is already big, right. <laughs> big enough. It's more or less the same. It's few liters here and there. Okay. It's on more than to the bigger side. Okay. And the last question is: the sure. previous model had a CVT transmission, mm -hmm. which is known to give better sort mm -hmm. of fuel economy and things like that. Okay. But this time you'll have ditched that for a six-speed exactly. automatic. True. What's the reason behind okay. that? Okay, so let's put it this way: the CVT. We, first of all, Hyundai uh, Motor Company they heard the criticism and the from the end users. They didn't really enjoy the CVT because of its rubber band effect. Now, when we're talking that you're driving the CVT on its premium and optimal uh, way, then you're actually using the fuel efficiency part. But it comes to our region over here where you have to stop on the traffic light, you have to enter into a roundabout, you need that initial bite of the gas pedal. Mm. When it comes to the CVT, you have to put your foot down just to get that, okay, now the car is accelerating <laughs> and so it takes a lot of time and you're consuming a lot of gas actually. Right. The people didn't really much like it. We went on to, okay, let's put it in a normal automatic transmission. 480 wasn't really that enough yeah. because the gear ratios was like, were like uh, too too long and they ran out of breath. So we were like, how about making it six automatic transmission? So every gear ratio is, and whenever the car at whatever speed it's on, it's exact and perfect gear ratio. Mm -hmm. So whenever they want to accelerate, they can feel that initial bite and they can enter the roundabout easily, right. or they can fly from the traffic light easily. It's not a really supercar. It's not no, a fast car. It's not meant, but, to, be. But, it's not meant <laughs> to be, but it will always help and just be better for the customers. Now, when it comes to fuel efficiency, because the customer can get that speed or can get that initial bite or acceleration quickly and to the speed that he's, he wants it, then it's actually better for the fuel efficiency because he's not speeding anymore. Right. He's not putting his, gas, his foot on the pedal, yeah. on the gas pedal. Okay, and just one more before go, we ahead. go. What's the biggest advantage the all new Accent has against its rivals? Technology. Right. Technology, <laughs> one word. So when it comes to technology, we've got uh, the multimedia, we've got the ECM mirror, which is like it auto dims. We've yeah. got the smart trunk, we've got the smart key. Mm -hmm. It's technology. Perfect. Thank you very Cheers, much, Allah. Thank, Thank you. Cheers.